Right, our second last question. The infigurate, which is this figure, a rolling ball falls from the edge of a table with initial horizontal velocity of 5 meter per second. So we have the initial horizontal velocity, which is 5 meter per second. The height of the table is 1 meter. Okay, again, the ball is falling down, which is which means that the SY here would be equal to negative 1 meter. Okay, and then based on this diagram, this this uh, velocity, this initial velocity is at the horizontal, meaning at the y component, it is equal to zero. Okay, and then we know that the final velocity for the horizontal component with all will also equal to the initial initial velocity, which is five meter per second. Okay, okay. that's the information that we have obtained from the question. Now, calculate the time taken for the ball to reach point B. Uh, so, in this case, we are looking to find the time. Alright, obviously, the question is asking about time. So, what we can do is, we can actually use this formula. SY, UYT minus half GT squared. Okay, now SY is equal to negative 1. UY is 0, half 9.81 T square. So the time here we'll get is no, uh, 0 0.45 seconds. Okay, easy, right? Yes, easy. Now question B, the horizontal distance. We know that for horizontal component, acceleration is equal 0. Meaning our formula will end up like this. Okay. So this one ux is 5. T is 0 0.45 seconds. And then. So we'll then get the horizontal distance to be 2.25 meter. Okay. Okay. Now, C, the magnitude and direction of its velocity at point B. Okay, so this point, we know that the, uh, the, the velocity, final velocity is somewhat like this. Vx, Vy, and then we have to resolve it, which is V. Okay, alright, so now let's find the magnitude. Vx is 5 meter per second. Vy is ui minus gt which is 0 minus 9.81 t is 0 0.45 so you'll then get ui a vy to be negative 4.41 meter per second again negative is telling us the direction which is going downwards okay okay now we have the information, we can then find the magnitude, which is Vx square plus Vy square. To substitute the values, you'll then get 6.67 meter per second. Okay, but this does not stop here. We have to find the direction, which is theta equal to shift tangent Vy over Vx, where V... Uh, uh, Blah. I mean, okay, just substitute into the formula, calculate it, you'll then get 41.4 degree. Okay, so the 41.4 degree means it is, the, it is below the positive x axis. Okay, okay, so that is our question 9.